So it's been a while since I've reminded the Yu-Gi-Oh! space just what the true superior archetype is. That being, of course, the Cubics. Now since my last endeavor into posting a Master Duel video, I have sort of revamped my Cubic deck, and I believe it has become even more deadly. I was unaware, until recently, of an amazing dark spellcaster monster that proves to be quite the helping hand when summoning my cubics. That of course being ye old summoner monk. While this card is face up on the field, it cannot be tributed. If this card is normal or flip summon, change this card to defense position. Once per turn, you can discard one spell and special summon one level four monster from your deck. And that is very important because pretty much the only le other level four monster that I run in my deck is Duza, the Meteor Cubic Vessel, which is pretty much my key monster when it comes to summoning my boss, my boy, Crimson Nova, the Dark Cubic Lord. Amongst a couple other little things that I've added to ensure victory, such as I have fleshed out the extra deck in a way that's a lot more beneficial to me. I have some Utopias. The only downside to Summoner Monk is that the level 4 that it summons cannot attack that turn. As well as Summoner Monk being a monster that only has 800 attack, which can't really do a whole lot. But, since there's two level 4s on the field, plus I get my search out of uh, Duza, I can then just exceed them away with Utopia. As well as other options, I have uh, the Black Ship of Corn. <laughs> Not really the best one, but I mean, it has a pretty decent effect. You can detach one Xyz material from this card and target one face-up monster your opponent controls with attack less than or equal to this card and send it to the graveyard, and if you do, inflict a thousand damage. Uh, it can't attack the turn it uses that effect, but still, it's, it's a pretty decent effect. As well as plus, using the Xyz monsters gives me an easy access to Zeus as well. Very much the best extra deck uh, monsters to run with cubics are Lynx and Xyz. Of course we have our one fusion, but I rarely ever get to use Crimson Nova Trinity because it's such a specific... I've only ever been able to use him in solo mode, like that's that's how hard it is. And then of course we have our Goth Mommy, Underworld Goddess of the Cursed World. She's a pretty good Link monster. Plus with Summoner Monk, it helps me be able to summon a lot of monsters, so I'm able to link that. Of course we have access code. And a card I recently pulled, which I've been wanting to get for the longest time, Mech Knight Crusadia Avramax. Lots of things that will help us as we go in to the duels. With all that out of the way, I say, let's get right into the duels. Let's get the hell out of silver and back at a gold where I belong, I guess. <laughs> Please don't be playing Dragon Maids. I would like to play. Ah, coin toss, thank you. I can very much work with this. That's not what I thought you were gonna place down. Sky Strikers, okay. That is good to know. Sky Strikers do have the ability to attack directly, but if I could get Crimson Nova out, that won't be a problem. And he ends his turn. What will we draw? That works. First things first, we will pop the spell card Foolish Burial Goods. With this, I can... I can send any spell or trap from my deck to the graveyard, so we of course are going to send Cubic Karma. Cubics are an archetype that primarily... Pr 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 <laughs> that primarily rely on graveyard effects. Cubic Karma's graveyard effect. I will activate it. He, ha he can do some, but he chooses not to. Cubic Karma's graveyard effect is I can banish it from my graveyard, and then I can add any cubic monster from my deck to the hand. So of course, we are going to take Crimson Nova. We will then proceed with the PM. We will now special summon Crimson Nova by revealing three cubic cards of different names from my hand. Then we will summon the behemoth himself, Crimson Nova. And then, I will summon du Duza, the Meteor Cubic Vessel. I will activate his effect. His effect is that I can send any cubic card from my deck to the graveyard. So, what shall I do for that? I will opt to continue to play it safe. So I will send another Cubic Karma to the graveyard. I will do it again. I will banish Cubic Karma from my graveyard. Add another Crimson Nova to my hand. Just for safety precautions. I can't summon it. I would if I could, but I would need another cubic card with a different name. Maxi, you should have done that way sooner, my friend, because I am done special summoning. I simply will proceed to battle. Crimson Nova, attack 
Sky Striker Ace Shizuku, what will you do in response? If anything, infinite impermanence, that does not save you. I mean, well, kinda saves you. That still gets attacked. Unfortunately, I will not be able to activate Crimson Nova's, uh, either Crimson Nova's effects, so you're at least spared from the OTK. But you will hold all that damage, my friend, and that will be that. I end my turn. If I draw another cubic card on my next turn, we win. I'm always fascinated with people who he chooses Dragon Maid as his icon and as his mate, but does not play Dragon Maids. Monster Ribbon. Gonna bring back Sky Striker Shizuku. He brings back that. He's probably gonna link again. He does. Sky Striker Ace Hayate. No need to pop that just yet. I will wait till he proceeds to battle phase. And then I will pop Threatening Roar. Threatening Roar. Uh, it's a trap card. When you pop it, your opponent cannot attack. Pretty beneficial with this uh, archetype. The cubics, just in case, like, you know, I, I brick, I can use that to buy me an extra turn. He's not scooping, which is good. Ah, oh, frick, what'd you target me with? Well, and that is why we have contingency plans, my friend. What did that do? If you control no monsters in your main zone, target one face a monster in the field. Ah, fair enough. It's the only thing about Crimson Nova. He's unaffected by most monsters' effects, but spell and traps are still unfortunate. And before you ask, no, I cannot use Monster Reborn on Crimson Nova. I can only special summon him in the manner that you have seen. Foolish Burial Goods. Maxi, fair enough, because I will be special summoning. I will pop Foolish Burial Goods again. I'll choose to throw Cubic Dharma away. I'll then activate Cubic Dharma's graveyard effect. Hopefully it goes through. It does. And then I will return Crimson Nova to the hand. All this simply so that I can now proceed to special summon him because I now have three cubic cards of different names. Crimson Nova returns. Let's see, how do I finish you off? You know what? I will use Monster Ribbon and I will take... I'll take your Hayate just so I can get that extra damage since I'm, I'm down bad a little bit. We will now proceed to battle. And since uh, Sky Striker Ace has that fancy ability to attack directly, here's a little taste of your own medicine. Unless. Okay. He negated my crit. This is not how this was supposed to start. <laughs> what? He just yoinked my Crimson Nova. If you control target while monster that negates effects on the end of his turn, if you have three or more three or more spells in your graveyard, you can take control of that. That's kind of cracked. That's a yikes. Oh boy. Is there anything in my extra deck that can help me? No, because again, he, 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 he took, he took Crimson Nova away from me. Frick. Okay. Uh, whew. I didn't think I'd have to, have to think this early on. Am I going to get creamed with my own card? That would be some irony. What? Oh, I get it back. Thank God. Okay. Fair game. I still have full life points and he is down to 3,800 and he links away. Ah, uh, Kagari. She's the only reason I would ever want to make a Sky Striker deck. I'm kind of basic with Yu-Gi-Oh! It's like, I make decks purely if the card looks cool. I like Kagari's art, so. To be fair, he's lasting, lasted longer than I expected. That is what she said. He will unfortunately take out either the Hayate or Duza. He probably will take out the Hayate. I probably should have linked it away. I'd rather have more stuff on the field. Did he destroy my Crimson Nova again? Is that what this does? If you control... Yeah, he, he destroyed it. You are not making this easy. You're chaining Forbidden Droplet. That's actually pretty good to play with Sky Strikers. Well, again, contingency plans. This guy's probably so annoyed. He bringing out Crimson Nova. Battle phase, yeah, he's gonna take out the other Hayate. 750, I'll take that on the chin. We're not completely out of the woods yet, but neither is he. Links away again. Back to Shizuku. And there goes Duza's attack, unfortunately. I need to draw one more cubic card. If I don't, I may be in a tough spot. As much as I would like to draw Harpy's Feather Duster, I need the cubic card more than anything. Hey bro, you ended your turn. It's 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 time to give that up, please. This hopefully he doesn't have any more of those of these. 
And let's go. I will now proceed to once again special summon Crimson Nova. If this fails, then I'm really in a tough spot. As another line of defense, I will also put Vjom face down. We will now proceed to battle phase. Crimson Nova attack Shizuku. And I'm sure you can infinite impermanence once again. Unfortunately, I can't use Crimson Nova's effect. You're really drawing this out, my guy. Doza attack. The defense monster. Okay, attack the link monster, unless it gains attack. This would have been game, but... Infinite Impermanence. My favorite card. <laughs> I'm scared to draw this out any longer than it needs to, just... I mean, again, I have no choice, unfortunately, because that effect right there would have ended this game, but... Infinite Impermanence! Sky Strikers are kind of... I'm not scared, it's just I'm a little anxious. This first game is so long, oh my gosh. I mean, to be fair, we're only on turn 7. I've had duels that have gone to like 20 turns, but I can tell he's really thinking as well. We're definitely not up against a bot. That card again, which he's gonna take control of my thing until the end of... But it's only until the end of his turn. I get it right back afterwards. Sure, he does get to attack, but again... You don't get the effects. My guy puts an Ash Blossom in attack mode. That's how you know he's desperate. Unless he's gonna Synchro Summon. Please don't. If he... He links... Pussy. To be fair, it was smart. <laughs> I'm just angry. Alright, how do we somehow pull this out of the bag? Well, I have Vjom still face down. And Vjom can't be destroyed by battle, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna I'm risk it. I'm just gonna end my turn. Banishing my Crimson Nova, don't care. I can't bring him back anyway unless I had a Dharma in the graveyard, but I already did that. I hope this guy knows that you did not win because of Sky Strikers, you won because of Infinite Impermanence. That's the only- you did not win because of Sky Strikers. <laughs> go on, just go to Battle Phase. Just go for Battle Phase. Yep, that's what I like to see. Nope. I won't do that because that would leave me open. Go ahead, attack again. I swear it's only a once thing. Fuck, maybe I should've. Because what's this thing's effect? He can target one dark. Or, well, he would have linked it away anyway. Would have been pointless. Well, oh, there goes my V-Jam. Fuck off, Nibiru. I probably should have Dharma'd and got rid of Unification because that would have gotten me another summon. Well, now there's really not much I can do. <laughs> this went downhill. I will hope that he cannot win this next turn. <gasps> I can bring my V-John back, thank god. New levels of hopium added. Or not. I have never seen this side of Sky Strikers. I usually OTK them right away, because they usually don't run infinite and permanence. Boom! Why don't you summon four more times? Dooza, okay. Even if I get Crimson Nova, there's not much I can do, but I will do my best either way. Dooza. Actually... Day after day... I did not expect to start with a 30 minute duel that's this toxic. Out with it! Taking your... Day after day... Was this a fumble? Like, I don't feel like I fumbled. I feel like I did everything that I realistically could. At least if he attacks, I'll take no damage. If he attacks, Dooza. Just as long as he doesn't bounce my Dharma beforehand. <sighs> so you're gonna attack directly is what you're saying. But then you're gonna attack with the 4500 and then I'm not gonna die, so... I'm sure you're confused. <laughs> Cubic Dharma, I have one last chance. Day after day. Droplet doesn't help me at all. I've lost. Just make it quick. Just go straight to battle phase, pussy. Thank you. Might as well do this. Might as well go down swinging. I still lose, but, you know, I did. I, 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 I guess we're starting this video with depression. I'm never making it out of silver, am I? All right, next duel. Why don't we just cut that out? Oh my god, the chosen one. Why am I getting bot? <laughs> Why are you making me go first, man? I bet I'm bricking. There's nothing worse than a... 
There's nothing worse than going first with cubics and breaking. Please summon five things. Metis. Never heard of that archetype. It's a meta. It's a meta deck. Ah, dimensional fissure. Anal fissure. That is... That's not good. Well, good thing I have this, though, so it, it's fine. Still can't do a whole lot, but I at least have a defense line, and I can get rid of... Okay. So, uh, hello, Harpy's Feather Duster. Goodbye, back row. And, uh, V-Jom as a defense line. We end our turn. Curious to see. I'm always interested when I see new archetypes. Oh, not new archetypes, but, like, archetypes that I've never really seen before. You know what? V-Jom activates effect. You now get an STD, otherwise known as a cubic counter. And I'll take 300 on the chin. That's nothing. Pussy. Oh, you can bounce it. Cool, so that mattered not. God, I'm bricking. <laughs> I'm bricking so hard. Hey, yo, bruh. This blue. It's my turn, chief. Bijan, you can go back in defense mode. And since I have other cubic cards in my hand, I'll place cubic causality. And I will end my turn. I had planned to, like, delve into more of the other archetypes that I play with in future videos, but I'm sort of like getting back in a master duel. It's been a little been a little while since I've played it, so. Ah, that is what you like to see. Cubic Dharma. Cubic Dharma activates. Cubic Dharma activates effect. I can send one cubic card from my hand to the Yeah, I'll send my cubic wait. Oh, I'm misplaying. Fuck. Whatever. I should have kept causality in my hand. Monster <laughs> whatever. Uh effect. Activate. Karma. I'm actually gonna be smart. I'm not gonna take Crimson Nova. I am instead going to take Dooza and normal summon him. I will send another cubic karma to the graveyard and then I will, I will, I will, I will then add the Crimson Nova to the hand. I like how I was hyping up Summoner Monk. Uh, I haven't drawn him at all. But either way, proceed to battle phase. We will uh, destroy this nuisance, this pendulum monster. And uh, end my turn. Ya yeah, move. Are you serious? <laughs> and you end your turn. <laughs> Dog. You will pay dearly. You will pay dearly. <laughs> Believe me. Summoner Monk goes in defense mode. Activate effect. Discard Monster Reborn. Bring back Dooza. You are paying dearly. Send my last cubic karma. Bounce Crimson Nova to my hand. And now it is time. I will special sub in Crimson Nova. Crimson Nova. He is here. And then now I will proceed to special summon from my extra deck. XE summon. Utopia. Utopia. Attack. Nice. Crimson Nova. Attack. Kariba? Uh, no. How about, how about no? Uh, cubic counter for you. While I'm at it, I'll activate a cubic causality's graveyard effect. Target my Crimson Nova. 2700. And because of causality, 300. Oh, I didn't attack twice already? Bet. Bah. That's what we like to see. One more, and then we'll get to gold. Also, oh, in case you didn't know what I just did there, cubic causality, trap card. Uh, you can activate it. Uh, you can place a cubic counter onto your opponent's monsters up to the amount of cubic monsters that you control. And cubic counters, if you have a cubic counter on your monster, you can't use its effects and you can't attack. And it's graveyard effect, you banish it from the graveyard, you tar target a cubic monster you, just, you control, and whatever uh, monster it destroys that has a cubic counter on it, your opponent takes damage up to the amount of attack that it has. This has promise. It's also kind of a brick. Dooza. Fair. I will infinite impermanence. Place that, as well as droplet. And I'll wait to get one more cubic card before we continue. End my turn. Kinda risky. I'm risking OTK. I think it's a worthwhile investment, considering that I have, uh, this little nifty and rarity somehow card. What is this? Raid Raptor? Another archetype I have... Never heard of. <laughs> I imagine you're gonna use this for Link Fodder because you placed it in attack mode with zero attack. Uh, flick 600 damage. I'll take that on the chin. What's your effect? 
you control dark monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. You cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn except dark monsters. If you control next to these monster, target, blah, blah, blah. go for it, chief. Because to be fair, I also have uh, this. So keep those dudes face up in attack position. Why don't you? Well, this looks like it's an Xyz deck, so he's probably gonna Xyz them away. Taking your sweet time, my friend. I mean, I'm all for thinking and strategizing, but I'm also all for playing. No, it's funny. I've only ever once encountered one other cubic deck. It's kind of funny. I did lose, but that was when my deck was very much under construction. I considered that a test for me. There it goes, Xyz. Got the Prismatic Rare on that, fair. Kinda goes hard. For each winged beast you control this card. Uh, no, you do not get effects. Don't need you adding more stuff to your hand. Cause again, I don't know what these right Raptors do, so I'm, I'm playing cautiously. Okay, Xyz is it away, fair enough. I should have waited. <laughs> I should have waited. Do it to me. Do it. Ah. You've done all you can. End your turn. End your turn. Am I still in battle phase? You don't have anything else you can do? End your turn. Thank you. One more cubic card and you're done. Er, no, that works actually. I was, <laughs> I was angry at first, but this works. You're all familiar with my boy Dooza by now. Outside of Vijam. Vijam to the hand. Ah. And now, we will activate the spell card, Cubic Wave. With this, I can double my Crimson Nova's attack and have his boost me up to 6,000. And before you ask, yes, Cubic Wave is stackable. So if I had all three of my Cubic Waves, I would have go 6,000, double that, 12,000, double that, 24,000, and I have done that before. It's quite amazing. Again, I do not understand why Cubic Wave is an end rarity card. It is quite cracked. Because plus it has a graveyard effect as well. Do you have any effects that are gonna... You know, I'll imperm that for the time being. As well as do that whole row, so. Crimson Nova, attack this. 5,000 damage. Whew. You love to see it. By all means, if you're gonna use that effect, target Crimson Nova, because you can totally do that. See, I could really BM right now, and I probably will, just for the sake of it. Yeah, I will. Let, let him do whatever he's gonna do. I won with one attack, pretty much. Now you figure, because I can attack again. Uh, I'm just gonna end my turn, because, you know, I feel like giving him a chance. <laughs> the BMs that are the Cubics. And with that, we are up to gold. I fucking hate gold, but you know, it's fine. You know, while we're at it, let's do some pulls. I have a couple legacy tickets. What can I get? Boom. Uh, <laughs> ah, the oppressed people. One more. Yeah, screw it, one more. One more to solidify our place in gold. Okay, you're either playing Monarchs or you're playing Gears. You're probably playing neither. <laughs> to be fair, I don't play Karibo or Bit Bitroid, so. Let me go second, please. Oh, you're just letting God decide? What has God chosen? Yes, God is on my side. Good pull. Workable pull. As long as I can draw Dooza or Crimson Nova. Or Foolish Burial Goods. Or Summoner Monk. I have options. As long as I can pull any of those, and knowing my luck, I'll pull, like, Monster Reborn or something. What are you playing, however? I'm gonna try to make a prediction. He has an Erebus icon, and he has the gear from... I guess we'll just never know. We'll just never know. Oh, we'll just never know. Will we? <laughs> oh boy, Cubic Deharma. Discard... this. <sighs> Fucking... Ooh. Loki Brent as well. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Battle of the end phases. It's, you're so lucky, dude. You're so lucky. Watch now, that one card he pulled is what's gonna just destroy me somehow. Or not, okay. <laughs> are we both in a battle of the bricks? No, we are not. We are in a completely different class, my friend. Dooza. Activate Dooza. Oh, and you don't have Ash Blossom. This is... This is just a wonderful day. You cannot stop. And I have two cubic waves. Whoo, day after day. Here comes the sun. Crimson Nova. 
Oh, I'm an idiot. I can't use this because he didn't play anything. We gotta be dumb. He might have a Raigeki, though. I'll discard one of my waves. I wish I could use that on my own. Unfortunately, this is not enough to end you. You'll be alive with 400. But if you brick again, then that's just life. Go ahead. Draw your last pathetic card. Play anything. Please. I welcome you. If he just ends his turn again, this is probably a bot. <laughs> Please do something, bro. Watch he makes a comeback. <sighs> oh, he can do something on his end phase? What did you just yeet? Gladiator Beasts? You bricked four times in a row playing Gladiator Beasts? Oh my boy, I'm so sad for you. Foolish burial. What What do I do? <laughs> Is there a point in doing anything? You know what? Just screw it, man. Just Just go away. You're not real. You're not a real person. <laughs> what a What a way to end this video. That was not an earned victory by any means. Ah, uh, but the gold grind begins. Gold is where I find most of my troubles in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. I got two more legacy tickets. Let's see what I get from that. Let's go. Hot trash. All right, well, that was this Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel video. Thank you all for joining me on this. I know this is kind of a niche thing, especially for my audience that's mostly like anime enthusiasts and whatnot. Every once in a while, you gotta post games and whatnot that you're passionate about that others may not be passionate about. In the future, for Master Duel content, I will definitely visit other other decks that I have, because, you know, I have, I have varieties. Maybe we'll do Raw. Or we'll do Zeus, or Dragon Maids, or Gem Knights. Yeah. We shall see, we shall see, we shall see. So until next time, I'm Lancer. Thanks for watching.